Welcome to Norwich Elementary School, home of the Roadrunners. As our school community continues to grow, we've had to be very creative with the use of space. So come with me to see how we've used some very non-traditional spaces to meet the needs of our students. So this is a main hallway for grades two and three, but there is a little cubby area here that we use for a Title I tutoring space just beyond this curtain. Every day in this space, there is a different facet of band. So one day is woodwinds, one day is brass, and so the groups are smaller. But on Fridays, when we have our full band, they meet on the, in the gym on the stage. So all fifth grade students who are in the band meet on the stage. And the same is true for orchestra. Orchestra meets in the cafeteria, the back end of the cafeteria. And um, again, they have daily sections. And on Fridays, they all meet in the cafeteria. There's a conference room closet that was converted. A window was added to be able to have some visuals into the room, but also so that kids wouldn't be afraid. They're all therapy spaces, and so they, the kids have to be able to navigate, you know, certain things. So part of physical therapy, speech therapy, is the stepping up and the bracing and standing, pushing, walking, and so that's why these hallways are widened here for those that type of therapy. But you see, it's now probably these things that were in closets are now in the hallways. So this is a room that we use for our Title I tutors. Because we don't have enough space, we have two tutors in one classroom and we separate the reading groups using this curtain. Originally at the back of the teacher workroom was an additional storage area for uh, Bright Beginnings. Against the back wall there are curtains that cover the actual stuff in the closet, but then that front area is used for um, speech and language therapy. So this space is a classroom turned into an office for Bright Beginning staff. Four therapists share this space as both their office space as well as um, therapy takes place in here as well and because their kids are young and distractible, they do use a visual barrier from time to time to uh, separate between therapy sessions or when they are conducting assessments or meetings just to separate the space even more. Of course, we have traditional learning spaces where whole group and small group instruction occurs, where um, some of our um, instructional specialists push into learning. We do support a full inclusion model of special education, and we also have um, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists who push into the classroom to support students within. As much as we're able to service all of our learners, both in our general education classrooms, special education classrooms, we are still using every available space that we have, including very non-traditional spaces, such as closets, um, inlets in the hallway, sometimes the hallway, in order to serve the needs of our students. Overall, I'm very pleased with how creative we've been about using our spaces here to meet the needs of our students. But I must say, eventually, we're just gonna run out of options as our students' needs continue to change and as uh, we grow in our population. And I'm sure that that's not just a problem that's unique to Norwich. I'm sure many of our schools are feeling the crunch of uh, growth and uh, the need to use our spaces as creatively as we can to meet student needs.